Okay, so this is how I make 4K video intros and animations using Figma and Principle for Mac, okay? So this is super easy. This is something that I do for each of my tutorial series. And since I'm already designing my tutorial series thumbnails within Figma, it seemed like the proper solution to find something that would just be a quick and easy way to animate but not only that, to export in 4K because all of my videos are in 4K. So I'm gonna pop open this Svelte 3 for Beginners, which is the course I have that's coming out uh, on uh, September 30th. I keep on thinking October, it's September 30th. And I have a few frames here. And this is the basic thumbnail. Now, step one of this whole process is getting your thumbnail in here to be 4K. My dimensions for this frame are 3840 wide by 2160 tall, okay? And if the frame is 4K, then that means when I import it into the application principle for Mac, it's going to be 4K. Okay, so I have this frame. It's a frame and I have it selected, okay? Keep in mind, it is selected. I'm gonna head over to principle for Mac Principle for Mac is an application that can be used to animate uh, on click and interaction, and it's really super, really great for that. One of the features they added somewhat recently was the ability to export both ProRes and MP4s as 4K. So to import, all I have to do is select import from right up top here, and then uh, you'll have two options, Sketch or Figma. Notice how this works for Sketch as well. You have to have Figma open when you're doing this. I'm going to say from the current documents, Svelte 3 for everyone, it'll have only the documents you have opened here, okay? So uh, you want to have your document open, select the right one, and we're going to say 1x because uh, I already have my frame set up to be 4K. Now you could import the page or selected frames. I only wanna import selected frames and you'll see why in a second. It's going to import that 4K frame here and it's gonna just pop it down right here. Now, what I'll want to do is after this generates, I want to uh, duplicate everything. Okay, so here we have our 4K frame. I'm gonna select it here and I'm gonna do a Command D to duplicate it. With the first one selected, you'll see it's selected over here. You'll get this little lightning bolt. Now the lightning bolt indicates uh, an, an interaction, right? A touch or something. But if you select the lightning bolt, you'll see that there are tap, long press, touch begins, but there's also auto. Now auto is what I use because this is not an interaction. This is just a video. We're gonna select auto and it gives us this arrow and we're going to point to the second frame. You'll see this line gets drawn from this way to this way. What this means is that this is the initial frame and this is the ending frame. And anything that happens from this one to this one will be interpolated as animation. Check that out. So what I mean is if I open up here and I go to, let's say Svelte for Beginners, which is the text right here, and I hold shift and I drag it down, you'll see here it's still within this frame. It's just off of here and uh, we go from here to here, what this does is it now automatically makes that animated. So if I click show preview, there it goes, like this. Okay, so this is how I do it. Maybe I wanna go ahead and uh, maybe I want this logo, this logo to also come from the bottom so I can do that, just drag it, this one, this big logo, I want it to come from the right. And you'll notice if I try to drag it, it puts us in this other frame. So we can kind of do this a little bit at a time, or you can head over here to the values and move the X value specifically. I hold, I think shift or option or one of those to make it go faster. You can see this is all pretty nice here. You click this back arrow to get it to reset. There we go. Okay, so now if we wanted to modify this animation, which it's not, Obviously, I would animate all this stuff, but for the sake of keeping this short, what we want to do is click 4K Auto right here, or whatever this says, and this will open up your timeline. Now, if it's not opening up the timeline, you can see that you can open it up with this Animate button down here, but you'll need to have this 4K thing selected for this to work. 
Now you'll see the timelines of each individual animation we have going on, Svelte for beginners, whatever. And if you select these, you can get a bounce and a different kind of ease. You can even like grab these handles and do a custom easing curve. Although be careful, because if this goes out of this dialogue, you can't get it back. So just a heads up there. So you could have your own custom easing curves, but typically what I do is I make these things just all standard default easing, and then you can click and drag down here and grab these and pull them out to like two seconds. And then if you select in the middle after nothing's selected, you can actually click and drag over like this. So I'll just do this now just as a to show you this in action. There we go. So this is how I make all of my video transitions. You'll notice nothing happens until I hover over it because that just initializes it. And there we go. So how do I export this? Well, to export this, let's reset it. And then you'll click this TV camera right here. And it just does its thing. And keep in mind, this is real time. So if you want some ending time at the end of your video, you just let it roll. And then you can click this whenever you're done. It brings up a dialogue. You can export it as a GIF, video, or ProRes. I'm going to say ProRes. And I'll want no cursor because obviously, and you can even get it at 60 frames per second, which I do. Export. And then I'll have this and it will be intro fake. I'll just say this is a fake intro. Uh, that way my video editor doesn't look at this and think that he needs to add this. Uh, it's going to export the video and you'll see in a second here uh, that we'll have a QuickTime video that's capable of being used as a 4K video intro to anything you're doing. It's fantastic. And honestly, this whole process, once I have the thumbnail designed, takes me about 15 minutes or less to make one of these animations. So just so you know, in case you don't know these apps, this is Principle for Mac. This is the site. Uh, it's, this, this app is fantastic for a lot of things other than just this. But um, as you can see here, I'm a huge fan of this app. I have a series on this, although it is a little outdated at this point. And then we have our Figma application, which is my very most favorite design application in the whole world. So uh, these are the two apps that I'm using in this. And let's head back to see if this thing has finished exporting. It's still not. So uh, hang tight here. Okay, and here we go. It's opened up my folder here and I can just open this up. It's funny, it opened it up in my external monitor because this video is too dang big. You can see the uh, joys of 4K, some big, beautiful 4K. There we go. Check it out. Cool. So this isn't obviously the animation that I used in the full thing because I animated this and this and, you know, it's a little bit more intense. Actually, let's see if I can pull it up here. Here it is. This is it. This is the one I actually used. There we go. All made with the exact same technique. Okay, so this is how I make 4K video intros using Principle for Mac and Figma. If you like this, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro. Sign up to become a Level Up Pro today. And you can become a pro for just 24 bucks a month or $18.75 a month if you sign up for the entire year and pay it once. Also, if you like this and you want more content from me, head on over to syntax.fm and check out our podcast that I do with the Wes Boss. Uh, Wes and I talk about all sorts of web dev topics, and we are well over 100 episodes, 182 episodes at the time of recording this. So check it out, syntax.fm for all sorts of podcast web development good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.